What's up everybody, it's Brene. Welcome back to my channel. Come on in the room, baby girl, baby boy, whoever's watching, I don't know. Today we are talking about a pretty cool topic. Before we dive into this topic, I'm gonna do a quick little bump date and show you guys my tummy so you guys can see where I'm at. There I go, I'm currently 24 weeks prego. So, I'm a bit over halfway and baby boy is in there growing and he's growing so well. So yeah, you guys, that was my little bump date. Baby boy is in there growing and he's growing so well, he's getting so big. I'm finally like getting a stomach and it's just so cute. But um, today I want to talk to you guys about some pregnancy hygiene tips, okay? Listen, when you get pregnant, things just go haywire. Your body's producing hormones, your body's trying to grow a new human, like your body just goes haywire. So our hygiene during this time is very important. Now, we're not perfect, some days we just have our days, <laughs> but there are some things that you can do to keep up with your hygiene. You may have to work a little bit harder, but um, let's jump into it and talk about those things that we should be doing while we're pregnant to keep our bodies safe and smelling good and looking decent and not just out here looking crazy, okay? So tip number one would be to make sure that you're brushing and flossing your teeth and going to your dentist appointments um, just like you regularly would. Um, so when I first got pregnant, I found that my gums bled a lot easier. And what happens is there's this hormone called relaxin, R-E-L-A-X-I-N. And your body produces it when you're pregnant to prepare for labor to make your hips and your muscles relax to push the baby out. Well, it also relaxes your gums, it relaxes your teeth, and all of that good stuff. So I realized that as I was flossing, my gums were bleeding more. I realized that my breath was like harsh. Like I had to like ask my husband, is my breath stink? Or there would be days where he was, he'd be like, babe, did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, does my breath stink? He's like, uh, maybe you need to go brush again. But it was really hard for me to brush my tongue like usual because brushing my tongue made my gag reflex like uber crazy. So I wanted to throw up when I was brushing my teeth, especially in the first trimester, like everything was just going haywire. So I had to start brushing my teeth like two, three times, four times a day, like after I ate, just different things like that to keep that bad breath and all of that stuff down. So. One of the biggest things, especially is when you're pregnant, is you wanna make sure you're brushing and flossing your teeth. I've also heard that if you don't take care of your your teeth while you're pregnant, it can like lead to preterm labor. Not exactly sure how any of that correlates, but I just know that there's a lot of different things going on, going on with your body. And brushing and flossing your teeth is one of the biggest things that you've gotta be making sure you're taking care of. Because number one, nobody wants to talk to anybody with bad breath, oh my gosh. Number two, you don't want to have bad breath or be that person that has bad breath. And number three, you know, you just want to make sure you're taking care of your body and making sure you're in the best shape possible, physically, mentally, and hygiene wise. Tip number two would be to make sure that if you're sexually active that you are peeing or wiping very well or showering after sex. So I used to do this before I even got pregnant, but especially while pregnant, I make sure that I go to the bathroom and pee because it helps to flush down anything that may got, have gotten up in there or whatever the case may have happened while you had sex. It flushes down all that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But it also helps to keep down on UTIs. If you don't know what a UTI is, it's a urinary tract infection. And in pregnancy, they're very common. I have not had one, thank God. But my friend actually who's pregnant with me just had one two weeks ago and she was in all this bad pain in her bag. I mean, it was just bad. So she had to go to the ER, they had to give her antibiotics to flush it out of her system. All that different stuff that she didn't wanna to have to go through. But peeing after sex just really helps to keep down on UTIs and it helps to flush fecal bacteria. Fecal bacteria is booty bacteria that may have somehow gotten drug up to your vagina during sex, just whatever. It helps to flush all that stuff down. So you wanna make sure that if you are sexually active while you're pregnant, like if you're married, like me, you know, just make sure that you're peeing after sex because the last thing you need to be doing is having an infection travel up to your baby or to your cervix or whatever the case. You just don't want none of that happening. So. That's a really huge hygiene tip, is to make sure that you are peeing after sex, okay? Might have got a little zeep, but it's okay. Zeep, Z-E-E-P, not deep, D-E-E-P, okay? <laughs> tip number three, 
You want to make sure you are shaving your underarms and your pubic area and all that good stuff. Now, I know some women don't shave and that's fine. If that's your thing, that's cool. But for me, I can't stand to see stubby hair underneath my arms. So I always make sure that I'm trying to shave as much as possible. Now, now that I've been pregnant, like, my hair grows so fast. My hormones just make my hair just grow like crazy everywhere. Like it just grows like crazy. Funny enough though, it doesn't grow crazy on my legs. So I haven't had to like shave my legs as often, but I find under my arms and other areas, I have to shave like all the time. Whereas maybe I only have to shave once a week. Now I'm having to shave like every time I get in the shower. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's like, it's not stressful, but it's like crazy to see all the hormones, how it makes your hair grow. That's one of the perks of pregnancy. Like if you're going for longer hair, I keep mine cut obviously, but a lot of women love the fact that their hair grows so beautifully and glowy and gorgeously during pregnancy because of all the hormones that are raging through your body. So you wanna make sure that you're shaving your arms, your not your arms, <laughs> your underarms, your pubic area and all that stuff because it also helps to cut down on odor. Hair carries odor naturally. You can walk past someone and their hair may smell a little stuffy or stink or somebody might smell like onions underneath their armpits and different stuff like that. Like hair carries odor. So you definitely wanna make sure you're keeping up on your shaving routine or your nair routine or even just your deodorant routine. Just something if you're not a person that type, the type of person that likes to shave, you wanna be keeping up with those things because nobody wants to sit next to a stinky person, okay? So yeah. Tip number four would be to make sure that you're moisturizing your skin. So it's like a big thing for doctors to tell you, ooh, make sure you're rubbing your belly so you don't get stretch marks and moisturize your belly and your hips and your breast. And just make sure you're doing those three areas. But I found since I've been pregnant, girl, if I don't moisturize, I'm like itchy everywhere. It doesn't even matter. And I think it's because of all the blood that's flowing, all the extra weight that I'm gaining. Like you have to remember in pregnancy, your body is doing like 50 million different things. And so it's it's very important, yes, to moisturize the bump and the belly and the breast and the hips because those are the parts that take the biggest hit. But I've had to moisturize everything, my feet, my legs, like my heels. I'm just so dry everywhere and I'm itchy everywhere. And I noticed that if I take too hot of a shower, it makes it even worse. So you definitely wanna be careful, number one, with your water temperature when you're showering while you're pregnant because it just stretches the skin out and just dries it out worse. Number two, you wanna make sure you're moisturizing after showers because then the skin is softer and the moisturizer just penetrates a lot better. Another thing that helps out with dry skin, itchiness and all that stuff is upping your water intake. So this is a 17 ounce bottle and I try to drink like three or four of these a day. That's like my, I have to drink that. If I get more of more than three or four in a day, I'm like, ooh, I'm doing really good. But I have to at least get three or four in, th three or four in of these a day. And I'm on bottle number two and it's about five o'clock. So by bedtime, I'll have my three or four in for sure. This is bottle number two. So I've only drank one and a half bottles today. <laughs> Not doing too well. All right, tip number five would be to bathe your body daily, okay? So bathing daily, naturally we do this anyway, but while pregnant, it's just super important because once again, you got hair growth, you got extra odors, you got all these extra hormones going crazy. So you just need to make sure you're cleansing your body of all that stuff. Do not douche your vagina. Don't stick anything up there. You have a baby, a cervix, all that stuff. Don't be sticking nothing up there that you shouldn't because that just throws off the pH balance of your body. So douching is not good for you, whether you're pregnant or not, but you wanna be making sure you're using plain soaps um, because especially down there, you can cause an infection if your soap is too scented. So right now, this is the Dr. Bronner's um, Pure Castor Soap and Peppermint, but using the unscented version of the soap is really good. So Dr. Bronner's unscented is a go-to. Making sure you're wearing like after you bathe, putting on cotton underwear so that your body can breathe. Don't be wearing no, unless it's just a special occasion, but don't be walking around in lingerie and silks and stuff like that, that really irritates your, your area, makes it itchy and which causes extra discharge on top of the extra discharge that you already have because you're pregnant. Like, listen girl, just listen. So bathing your body daily and making sure you're wearing cotton underwear, making sure you're using plain soaps down there and all that good stuff will definitely help to keep you in order and also buying like 
Pure cotton, granny panties. I think I told you guys to make sure you're wearing, wearing cotton underwear, but granny panties are the best because they don't fit too tight. They're not sticking you and cutting you and itching you. Girl, I tried to wear my Victoria's Secrets underwear just on a casual day out. I literally wanted to run to the bathroom and take them off. And I did because I was in Target like, oh my God. You know, everything is stretching and growing down there. So it was just so uncomfortable for me to have those on. So I took my butt to Walmart, got me some granny panties and now I'm good to go. <laughs> so yes, those are my top five hygiene tips since I've been pregnant, the things that I've learned and experienced. And I just hope that they can help you to, I don't know, implement some of those things. They're definitely good things to be trying to implement um, into your routine or whatever the case. Um, yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to grow this thing. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you subscribe. Um, leave a comment. Give me some ideas of what to film. And yeah, I really appreciate y'all watching. I love y'all and I will see you in my next video. Also, make sure you check out my last video of my five minute lazy face. So since I've been pregnant, makeup is just like, no, like, eh. So make sure y'all check that video out because it's like my five minute everyday go-to face. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. I just have no lashes on, but it's so easy. It literally takes me five minutes. I did my makeup like in five minutes and I was ready to go. So thank y'all for watching. Love you. Bye.